just when you thought the Jurassic franchise couldn't get any dumber. Alan! A sequel will show anyone still clinging to the corpse of the original. You ain't seen stupid yet. Back for more, huh? Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Return to Isla Nubar. Isla? 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 Return to Dinosaur Island, a place two different billionaires picked for their theme park without caring that it was on top of a f***ing volcano. Now, after the original park was destroyed and the park they rebuilt was destroyed, what's left of that park will be destroyed unless another billionaire can build a new Dinosaur Island and start the cycle all over again. Because when it comes to Jurassic Park, dumb... Uh, finds a way. Meet another flock of one-dimensional morons, some new, some familiar, like Claire, the caring animal activist, or Owen, the cold-hearted mercenary. Blue is alive. You're just gonna let her die? Well, yeah. And if you're wondering why their personality switched in between films, uh, hey, look over there, it's Jeff Goldblum. You like him, right? <sighs> Thrill as these old favorites are joined by all new dinguses, like... Wheatley, a paramilitary guy to replace the last paramilitary guy who replaced the last paramilitary guys who replaced the last paramilitary guy. Maisie, a half-baked clone of all the other kids in the franchise. Literally, a loose collection of nerd cliches. <laughs> and Zia, the spunky paleo-veterinarian who's never seen a dinosaur before. Never thought I'd see one in real life. Wait, really? You studied dino medicine while the park was open to the public, and not only have you never seen one, you never thought you'd see one? What online vet school faxed you a degree? Why bring you instead of a vet who actually worked at the park? And why did this movie make a billion dollars? Uh, but look over there, there's the car from the first movie, so I guess it's a wash. Watch as the dinosaurs you used to look at with awe and reverence get turned into Looney Tunes. <laughs> led by another pointless hybrid, the Indoraptor. She's part raptor and part Indominus Rex, which was also part raptor. That thing's part raptor. So now she's like even more parts raptor, and she'll kill whoever you can point a gun at. I'm trying to respond to a pulse-coded laser targeting system. But if you're confused as to how that's more efficient than just shooting someone, uh, look, it's uh, an oil painting of John Hammond? Does that still do it for you? No? <laughs> Enjoy a feature-length homage to the other weak follow-up to a Jurassic Park movie, The Lost World, where an old cast member gets summoned to the estate of an ailing original park founder, then sent to the island to save the dinosaurs, only to get double-crossed by a slimeball junior exec who secretly hired a hunter to bring the dinosaurs back to the mainland for profit. But while Lost World turned the third act into Diet Godzilla, Fallen Kingdom limits all the action to the inside of an old man's house and then ends right when it gets interesting. Remember the shot from the actual trailer? Yeah, this is really just a trailer for the next movie inside this movie. So get ready to suspend your disbelief and or the flow of oxygen to your brain for the best reason since Book of Henry for keeping Colin Trevorrow 500 yards away from a Star Wars script at all times. And finally bid farewell to your Jurassic Park fandom as it's slowly and painfully choked to death by the smoldering ash of the thing you once loved. Uh, quick, cut to the Brachiosaurus from the first movie. That's the same one. What is wrong with you people? Starring Redhead Redemption, Indiana Groans and the Temple of Gloom, Womp Clone to Liz, X-20 Twee, Lord Plotwood of Devicingham, Billy Quizboy, Courage the Cowardly Dev. It puts the dinos in their pen or else it gets the hose again. Fun for the whole family. And 30 minutes of Goldblum's time, 30 seconds of actual movie, and 30% of the misleading trailer. The Bland Before Time. I had to. They're alive. Like me. What? Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Oh my. And maybe I seem a bit confused. Well maybe, but I got you pegged. Ha ha, ha ha. But I don't know what to do with those tossed salads and scrambled eggs. They're calling again. Good night, Seattle. We love you.